Hello friends, I'm Naishik from blog2.com and today in this video, I'll show you how you can use the blend mode of Elementor to create some really beautiful designs. Now in this example, I'll show you how you can create four different designs using different blend modes like image to image blending, image to video blending and all those things. Okay, so there are four different designs that we're going to see. This is the first one. This is the second one, the third one, and this is the fourth one. Now let me explain you very quickly what these things are. So in the first example, if you see there is a black and white image in the background. On top of that, we have applied, uh, you know, a color blending. And on top of that, we have this text and we have also applied different style or different blending to this text. Now let me show you very quickly. Just if you see, uh, if you only change the blending option from here, you'll see the design changes completely. As you can see, just by selecting different blending option, the design changes completely. Okay, so this is quite good. So this is the first option and the second style is this one. As you can see, there is this Joker image and we have this thing. Uh, there is another image in the background, which is this building image. And that image is showed or displayed only in this portion. It is not displaying in the ba white background portion. Okay, so I'll show you how you can do that. In our third example, we have a video playing in the background and on top of that, we have this, uh, you know, logo kind of image as an overlay. Okay, so this is also quite good. And in the fourth example, this is quite a simple one, but I think this really looks nice. We have simple images over here and we, these are actually black and white images and we have applied a style when you hover over this, it turns into a colorful image. So I think this also looks quite good. All right, so this is the four design that we are going to create in this video. Now, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. If you have already done that, then click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates. If you like this video, if this video helps you, give a thumbs up to this video, share it with your friends. If you have any doubt, any suggestions for me, you can leave them in the comment section below. Now, let's get into it. All right, guys, so first of all, come back to your dashboard. So simply click on over here to go back to your dashboard. And now let's see what we have to do. First of all, let's create a new page. And before that, make sure you have Elementor installed and activated. If you don't have Elementor Pro, you will see a link in the video description below. Click on that link, go ahead, purchase Elementor Pro. And after that, you can continue. If you already have that, then let's get started. Okay, so first of all, hover pages and let's click on add new to add a new page. Let's give it a title of example one, just simple like that. And because I'm using Ocean WP free theme, I'm getting few extra options over here at the bottom of the page. Like I can change the layout of the page. I can also disable the title. If you're, if you're using some other theme and if you don't get this option, don't worry, just leave it and click on publish. Now click on this button, which says edit with Elementor because we want to use Elementor to create those designs. Okay. All right, so we have this screen over here, this blank screen. Now, first of all, let's create the first design. All right, so first of all, we'll add a new heading over here. Let's change the title to BEP, Black Eyed Peas. And uh, you can put in anything over here. Now, let me make it center line. Now, because I want this quite big, so what I'll do, I'll go to style, change the typography, and I'll make the font size as 500 pixels, okay? And also increase some okay letter spacing to 10 okay so this is how it is looking i also want to change the uh, color of this text but i don't know how to do that because if i change this to white or something it will disappear so let me change this and let me make it something like this all right this is looking better now again go to content and make sure you have clicked on over here edit section okay so click on edit section, go to layout. And first of all, let's in increase the height of this section, entire section. So I'll select height and I'll select fit to screen. Okay, this is the best option that I like. Now go to style. Let's add that image in the background, the black and white image. So you can add different things in the background. You can add an image, you can add a simple color, you can add gradient, you can add background video as well, okay? So in this example, in the first example, we are simply adding an image. So simply click on classic, click on this plus button to add a new image. And this is the image, I guess. Uh, yeah, this is the one that we are going to use. And I'll give all these images in the link in the, you know, I'll give a link in the video description below. You can click on that link and download all the images that I'm going to use in this tutorial. 
I'm giving you so that you can also try this at you know uh, wherever you want so I'm just selecting this image click on insert media now as you can see this is how it is looking because the image size is not that big that's why it is getting repeated so we'll have to do some changes over here first of all in the position I want it to be center center all right now attachment we don't have to do anything just leave it to default now repeat select no repeat all right now because this is quite small let's increase the size let's make it cover okay so this is how it should look so this is a background now let's add an overlay to this background so i'll select background overlay and i'll select gradient you can simply add one single color like blue this is how it will look but i want to add a gradient okay so as you can see blue and this red color now you can change the location of the color one location of the color two angle and type everything I want to change the angle instead of 180 I want to make it 40 okay so this looks quite good and in the blend mode as you can see this is how it is looking I want to make it color okay as you can see when I select color what is happening here is the color is getting blended to the black and white image and now it looks like that that is not a black and white image that is a colored image so that is what is happening and if when I increase the opacity to 1 as you can see the image is now more darker all right, so once you do these things, now we have to add some blending effect to this text. So simply click on this text. Once you do so, you'll get these options at the left hand side. Again, go to style and here select different blend mode. For example, here if you select color, as you can see now this text is also getting blended in that section. Okay, so we are blending a text, a gradient and also a background image. Now if you select some different option from here, for example, uh, exclusion, this is how it will look. If you want to select something like this, like color dodge, you can select this. Okay. So as you can see, this is how easy it is and it looks so much better. Now you can simply update this thing. And as you can see, this is how it is looking. So this was the first example of blending. Now let me go back to the dashboard. Let's add another page and another style. Okay. So how our pages click on add new. Let me give it a title of example too. I'll do the same thing, make it 100% full width and I'll disable the title. Now click on publish and let's start creating this second design, the Joker one. Okay, so click on edit with Elementor. All right, so again, first I'll add a heading over here and I'll type in Joker over here. Okay, so Joker. Again, center align, go to style and this time I want to make uh, the color as white so it will disappear obviously. I want to change the typography to Acme and obviously you cannot see the changes because the you know, color is white and I'll make the size of the text as 200 and after that what I'll do is I'll click on this edit section and I'll make the size or the height fit to screen even for this option. Now let's go to style and in the background I want to add that Joker's image so I'll select this click on classic add new image and let's select the joker image now this image is also given in the video description below so don't worry this is the one select this click on insert media now as you can see this is how it is looking now we have some options over here position you can make it center center okay attachment i want to make it fixed okay so you know this thing will be fixed as you can see this is what it does when you select fixed now you can select no repeat and size should be cover Alright, so this is our background image. Now let's add a background overlay and this time what I'll do is I'll add another image. So we are adding two different, we are blending two different images. Okay, so select this classic, click on add new and select this buildings image from here. Click on insert image. Now this is how it is looking at present. Now what I'll do is I'll go to blend mode and I'll select this one screen. Now as you can see when I select screen, what is happening here is, you know, it is displaying only in this section, only in this section where the image is dark. Okay, here the image is uh, background color is white, so it will not display over here. Because the image is quite dark, it is displaying only in this section. Now let me change some, change some setting for this building image. So I'll select cover. Okay, this looks much clearer. And we can do some more settings. Okay, center center if you want. Okay, this is how it is looking. Now, as you can see, this looks so much better. Okay, so make sure the first image, the Joker image, whatever image you use instead of Joker, it is quite dark image. As you can see the original image, 
it is quite dark you know black shade should should be a lot of and in that black shade this image will be displayed okay i hope you understood that now once you're done with this simply click on update and this page will be updated so with that as you can see so quickly we have created two different designs now again let me go to my dashboard and let's create another one so how our pages click on add new and this time i'll type in example 3 and i'll do the same changes 100 percent full width and i'll disable the title click on edit with elementor now a third design is uh, related to that image there was a uh, you know video getting played in the background and on top of that we had that image okay so i'll also show you now how you can create those images all right guys so this time we have to add a video in the background but uh, so what i'll do is i'll simply select this heading we don't need this heading but i just uh, you know inserted it just so that we can get this edit section thing now i'll simply delete this heading now i'll click on this thing which says edit section all right first of all make the height fit to screen now go to style and in the background select background type video background okay now you can go to youtube and you can search for any video so i'm searching for ice skating all right and maybe i want uh, this video all right so i'll select this click on copy link address come over here i'll paste in this video link over here you can also set a start time and end time okay so as you can see this video is displaying over here now what i want to do is i want to add a overlay on this on this video so that you know this video will show only on a specific portion and so what i'll do i'll simply select background overlay and background type classic and click on add a image and this time i'm going to use this image and click on insert media okay now as you can see this is how it is displaying again what i'll do is i'll increase the opacity to one and in the blend mode i'll select screen now as you can see that is getting displayed only in the darker section now if you want to learn how to create these kind of images like i have created this extreme image okay so what you can do you can simply go to canva.com canva.com it's uh, it's a free website it's a really cool website i really use a lot now as you can see both this uh, joker image and this I, I have created using this canva so if you want to see what is happening in the joker image i simply download this image from google then after that as you can see this is how the real image was it was quite good then i added uh, you know i made it quite darker so i simply selected this uh, went to filter and i decreased the brightness to zero so th it became something like this okay so as you can see this is the darker section the black section so your video or the content will display only in this section when you want to create something like this okay now in this Im image also i did the same thing as you can see i have used some different borders some text and i made everything black so only the blacks in this black section this thing will display as you can see over here so that is how it is done so once you do all these things again click on update so it was quite easy you just have to select the blend mode of screen and make the opacity of one if you don't understand this thing if you're not able to achieve what i have achieved so what you can do you can watch the video again you'll understand it much better so this was the third design now let me again go back to my dashboard and let's cut all these things let's start with the fourth design so again i'll hover pages and click on add new and let me type in example four make it 100 percent full width hide the title okay disable the title click on publish now click on edit with elementor all right so this time uh, if you remember now we are going to use that thing or uh, that uh, gallery one we are the where the image is black and white but when you hover this it becomes colorful so for that i'm not going to create a gallery i'll simply add a pre-made template so that you know it saves a lot of time all right so i guess i want uh, let me see i want this one portfolio fashion uh, fashion photographer click on insert all right so if you scroll down this is the gallery that we have used in the demo website now it is very easy suppose i want to apply that style to this image so what i'll do i'll simply click on this edit button this pencil button blue one and i'll go to style this is the normal one selected as you can see this is normal and hover so in the normal one i'll click on css filter over here and i'll make the saturation zero now as you can see the image is turned black and white 
but when I hover this nothing happens the image is still black and white so what I'll do is I'll go to hover I'll go to CSS filters here it is and I'll make sure that the saturation is at 100 now as you can see when I hover this it becomes colorful so if you want to apply the same style to all these images you don't have to do for all these things you can simply right click over here click on copy now go to this image and click on right click and type in or just select paste style now when you do so as you can see the style is applied on both these images you can do for all these different images on your website and as you can see it saves a lot of time now if you see this image this is a colorful image now suppose you want to do the opposite that the color that the image is colorful but when you hover this it black it becomes black and white so let me show you how you can achieve that so it's quite easy again select this pencil button go to style and this time you don't have to do any changes in the normal go to hover select css filters and make the saturation zero now as you can see the color the image this child's image is uh, colorful but when i hover this it becomes black and white so you can simply click on update all right guys so we are done with the four different designs that, that i just showed you and i hope you have learned something new i hope you can you know it basically you have to use these images these different styles and you can play around with this and you can achieve something really good all right guys so this uh, that uh, this is it for this video i hope it was helpful for you if you like this video give a thumbs up to this video click on that red subscribe button also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates if you have any doubt, any suggestions for me, you can leave them in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you soon.